What's up, guys? This is the 100th episode. Yeah, hey, baby, 100. Round of applause, Let's baby. go. Yo, it's been a hell of a ride. Wow. 100, baby. It's only fitting we do the 100th episode in the studio. This is the first podcast Not for nothing. ever done in but here. But if you would have told me when we started this podcast that we would make it not even to 100 episodes, because that alone like blows my mind, but to be recording our 100th episode in our new studio space is like literally a dream come true we thought we were gonna cut out some work like oh at least we don't gotta travel and everything but now we got these lights and uh, <laughs> my God. the setup's longer now it's quadruple the time i think instead of getting easier it got a little bit harder but it's here we're here in a studio our own studio yeah it's taking it to another level finally i mean when we started this thing, it's like these were goals, you know, we're slowly achieving those Not goals. Even goals. It was like almost a dream. Yeah. And, you know, slowly becoming a reality. We got a lot of exciting things to cover on this podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, can't wait to let you guys know all of what we're up to. You know, this is the new studio. You're not getting much of a glimpse here, but you know this is official. This it's is where we're gonna. Very, be. It's very white in here too. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have much uh, art and stuff up. It's yeah. a work in progress, but we're definitely be recording all of our podcasts from here from now on. So we might do a couple on the road got, if yeah, it's a, a special couple. guest, you know. But Sabino likes his uh, ventures, so. But I think, especially in the last week, like last week when the schools were off, Rock wasn't working, and a lot of our cousins weren't in school. I think I spent more time in here than I did at home. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's just a creative space now, you know. Like you come here and you actually get work done. Yeah, people are like, "What? What do you need a studio for? Like, you guys just post stuff on Instagram." Well, actually, we post things on TikTok <laughs> too now. Yeah, shout out to our little TikTok team that we got. I want to shout out uh, my cousin Andonia, who's actually here engineering this episode. Holding it down back there. And we have our cousin Mario, who literally... Mar is He's Mario from TikTok. Yeah. He's dude, Mario Minka. He doesn't even need an intro, but uh, we will be setting up a meet and greet for him. <laughs> and, Five dollars, uh, comes my, with, a, with a slice. <laughs> and our cousin Rosadia, they, they work really hard, but... You know, I love that our team really consists. We just of doubled our family. team. You know, so like, like you know, shout out to us three that built the, the OGs, foundation here. The OGs, you know? the OGs. We spent a lot of time getting this page to where it is today. Absolutely. And now, you know, we doubled the size of our team. Of course, we're keeping it a family. It's all family, and uh, we're working on two digital series, new merch. Which, by the way, the new merch is Flames. Shout out by to Rocco for the sick, sick... Not even... The designs them are dope, but like some of the color schemes he came up with, everything's Flames. Yep. Yeah, it was a work in progress. All of our ideas put into play, and you know, I got to give credit to my friend Idalia for helping us out. She's Yo, a little graphic out, designer. So I'll, I'm going to plug her in the bio. If you guys ever need some work, she, she definitely is the plug. But if you're listening to this podcast at midnight this Sunday then you're already 12 hours ahead of everybody because this merch is dropping 12 noon, baby. Go yeah. and scoop it a up. A lot of people are going to see this. are going to be too late, but just get, get back on the Super, next super one. limited release, so a lot of things will sell out. But make sure you act fast because this gear is fire and I don't see it lasting long on the website. Yeah, I'm going to touch up on that real quick. I know a lot of people are like, yo, we love your logo, but you know, incorporate something different, something more Italian, because of course we love growing up Italian, but sometimes the logo isn't as marketable. So we're like, all right, we think the, we thought of new ideas and we definitely implemented a few of them. We definitely think you'll like them. So check it out. I promise you won't be let down. And really, if anybody does have any cool ideas for merch, DM us. We're always looking for new ideas. Yeah, if you if you think it's something good, we'll give you a couple of free shirts maybe. Uh, there you go. Give them a little couple of hours or something. You know, we'll we'll kick on up. You know? <laughs> but uh, the two digital series I'm actually uh, really excited about. Um, if you've like been following us closely, you'll see, you know, I've been running around with Sal a lot and, um, you know, we have something planned. We're going to film in another state again. We filmed in Philly, taking it on the road for real. And we filmed in Long Island, the hometown. So we got like, we have two episodes done by the end of March. We're gonna have three episodes done. So we're going to do like a five episode drop. I'm going to go really hard, and then, um, you know, we're going to go for the home run, man. We're going to pitch it to every network, and we want to control our own destiny. Yeah. 
we didn't want to do one sh- one episode and pitch it to somebody and wait to hear back. Like, we're going to control our own destiny. We I want like to that. ask you all the support. View, share with your friends. We're looking at a release this in April, May-ish. You know, depending on uh, when the rest of the episode is Rough estimate. Done. But, yo, I love, I love what we're doing, honestly. There's so many things that I have to look forward to. And it's just the team that we have around us, the networking that we have. It's just... It's really coming up. Our and team is strong, man. We really Honestly, are. this is all for you guys, though. At the end of the day, we want you to view these videos and be like, damn, like, I love the Italian culture. I never knew it was about this. One and thing that really, like, helps us, too, is being in Brooklyn. Like, yeah. Brooklyn is so powerful. Absolutely. Like, the amount of people that walk by every day, you never know who you could bump into at any yeah. given moment. You're bumping a big-time Tommy and Artie Buko <laughs> <laughs> by the L train. Like, yeah. Crazy. But yeah, man, I'm I'm really excited. There's so much stuff coming up. Um, the other digital series is gonna be a cooking show. Miguel, you wanna explain? So it's not your average cooking show. You're not gonna see the same face every episode. But um, I have uh, my two younger cousins and myself. We basically are gonna take you on the road with us and show you some of the best cooks in Brooklyn, all being non-Nas. Our favorite dishes. Our favorite dishes from some of our favorite cooks. And right now we're keeping it in Brooklyn because really what's more Italian American than Brooklyn? Absolutely. But um, we we got a lot of stuff lined up, a lot of cool episodes. I don't wanna talk too much because I don't wanna do any- Yeah, give him a little little sprinkle, give him a little sprinkle. um, we're, We're, on our third episode and the two what we have done is insane we'll give Everybody, them a, a little hint like there will be a homemade ricotta yeah segment, I mean, you know keep your eye out because we do have some cool stuff coming your way but uh we'll definitely throw up the teaser soon and show you guys what we've been working on but we really do want to perfect it before we put it up yeah, and that's looking around April, May as yeah. well. Yeah, we got a lot of drops coming. Not your average cooking show. That's what's going to be our uh, our little slogan. Slogan? Yeah, I love it. Uh, and then what I wanted to mention was, of course, we got these YouTube series, but don't forget we got these events coming up too. Uh, we have some final dates. I don't know if we're ready to announce a couple of them. But I'll, I'll announce one of them. One of them announce. for sure, yeah. I'll let you do it. It's uh, the Scopa tournament, right? I was thinking of the other one. But go ahead. <laughs> but I was thinking the Scopa tournament. It is confirmed. We are doing Scopa night part two this summer in July. It's not August. August. For, end of July. I think beginning it's August, August 1st. No? So I the first. The it's like one of the first or last Saturday in July and August. Yeah, so last week of July, first week of August. We'll get, we're still trying to figure out the date. Um, but anyone interested, whoever's listening, we'll be posting it up soon. Anyone who is interested, please DM us and lock in your spot because last year's spots filled up quick. Yeah, real quick. And honestly, we didn't even have that much time. Yeah. I could imagine this year we're going the same venue, so we're going to be at the same spot. It was packed we're, last we're time. We're going to get more teams too this time. We're going to try and do it a little better this time. It was great, don't get me wrong, but definitely some uh, things that we could tweak and fix up a little sure. bit just so the flow is a little better. And, of course, me and Sabino need a better finish this time. Yeah. Yeah, what did you... How did <laughs> first you, round I really didn't wow. want to talk about it anymore. Listen, I didn't play because I talk a big game and I don't like to be embarrassed. So, sorry, guys. But um, I, I want to just mention, like, if you guys always say, oh, but why didn't we hear about it? First of all, we posted on our story a bunch of times. Yeah. We even posted on our page and now we're, like, mentioning it. So, like, there's a lot of ways that you guys could get in touch with us. And one of the easiest ways is we started this new... Um, like Patreon it's close to basically when you like sign up to the service you get all these like events and offers at a discounted rate yep. and like you get access to our playlist podcast early and basically you support us and help us pay some of our bills like rent for our studio space so what you could do is go in the link in our bio and there's like buttons for merch you go, go buy the merch that we're dropping. There's a podcast, the playlist, and then there's going to be a button called Become Family. You go there, you sign up. It could be $5 a month, or if you own a business and you want to promote your business, you could do the big one that's $100 a month. And it's funny because we had pe- the people do that right away, which is a good deal. Like $100 a month, you get two stories. Yeah. For anyone trying to promote their business, I think that's a really good deal. And it's a tax write-off, so... Right, and I would like to mention um, that we've never done something like this, right? 
we have this studio we're just on on the move and we just need a little bit of support just to keep things afloat more or less and we just definitely appreciate it and we love when people help contribute because you know we try and do that all the time so seeing that come back around is definitely rewarding but uh, even if you don't even want to donate uh, five, ten, twenty, oh, you could do a one-time, one-time you could, donation. You could do a one-time donation any amount. Anything Honestly, we appreciate it. anything. Like, I don't want to make it seem like we have our hands out. That's not like at all what it is. But we just appreciate all the support, What's, and we we could use you I know, a little tell, something. I want to tell a little story. So we posted a story like, if you're a business owner, message us, and um, we got a lot of messages. But one in particular was from Nola Construction, my guy Ralph from there. And um, he's like, yeah, I want to do whatever. And he lives in Howard Beach where I live. And he's like, when you get to Howard Beach, stop by my house. So this guy just gave me $200 and goes, do whatever you got to do. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, don't even post me. Don't worry about it. Do whatever you got to do. So I'm like, no, no, no. I'm going to post you. What do you mean? So like, it's just crazy. He's like, shout out to Ralph. But he was like, you know, uh, I always want to come to your events, but you know, I'm busy with family, this, that. You know, but I really love what you guys do, and I appreciate it. But uh, uh, he's like, and I love the music you guys always post, and I showed him how to put the playlist on his phone. <laughs> hit them up. But I was like, I was so humbled by that that he just like handed me money. He's like, do whatever you gotta do. You know? Yeah, I love people that they support and they they just have our vision. You know, they're like on our side. And I'm way. not gonna lie, the part of that money went to this table right here. <laughs> so Ralph. This is, this is all here, Ralph. Write your name right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thanks, pal. I appreciate it. Uh, what else did you want to mention? I mean, we covered everything like pretty quick. Um, like I said, the TikTok's been really funny. You know, shout out to uh, all the young kids on TikTok. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a whole different thing. We honestly, I wasn't a big fan of TikTok when it first came out. I but know a lot of it's really blowing. A up. lot of people listening will be like, "What the hell is TikTok?" I mean, honestly, you'll download it and you'll be like, "Damn." Very I'm, addictive. It's it's a little addictive. It's the most entertaining social media app right now. Honestly, yeah. it's like the new and improved Vine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It reminds me of Vine. So if you know what Vine was, this is basically it. A lot of young kids on there, uh, but they're kind of comical, honestly. I, like I feel like they got some good ideas that yeah. Shout people out to our Matt, age, you know. Matt Petito and Joey Nero, like they were they're kind of like the fathers of the the. The TikTok and uh, like the Italian American, yeah, Italian American TikTok, like they definitely set it off for a bunch of us. But now, um, you know, we're we're putting out a lot of content on there, and you know, just being in this space and we like meet up with each other, and you know, you you you're here with Mario and Donia Rosaria, and you guys make these videos, you know, and me and Rock, whenever we come, you know, we give our little spins, like, yo, we should do this, we should do that. And it's just amazing that we're actually using this you know what, for what we envisioned it to be used for. Right. I don't I don't really think a lot of people realize just about I mean, these videos are like thirty seconds to sixty seconds. And I really don't Is think that like um, fifteen seconds too. You yeah, know? it could be from anywhere from fifteen to sixty seconds and I really don't think a lot of people realize just about how much work goes in, into making oh my a God, twenty-five yeah. second video. Like yesterday we um we were making a uh, a video with uh, my boy Nico from The Wooden Spoon. And, I mean, shout out to him. He came to New York. He came to come see but us. But it's definitely a hero. It's not a submarine. Yeah. Just for I mean, the record. Nico's my boy and all, but <laughs> it's not a sub. It's definitely a hero, especially if you're in Brooklyn. And if, especially if you're ordering a Italian specialty sandwich, it's not a, it's not a sub. It's a and hero. It's definitely not a wedge. Yeah, or a whole Somebody, somebody messaged me and goes, it's oh a wedge. God. And I'm uh, like, what the... A wedge is what you put under your chair. I mean, you're in you're in Brooklyn, <laughs> man. Come on, don't offend us like that. Home of home of the best sandwiches, you know, best food I think in all of New York. But I mean, shout out to him. He came by. He came to come see us. He came up here. He he was like, "Yo, I, I love what you guys are doing." But we made a, a quick little video with him, and that 25 second video took us like 45 minutes. Yeah. It's a lot of work that goes into you know? it. Editing is probably the most time-consuming thing possible. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you could you could vouch for that. <laughs> yeah. And Donya could vouch for that, too, but... Well, basically, editing is putting eight hours of film into a minute or yeah. whatever, you know what it is? I mean, it's crazy, because like, even for our cooking segment, we were filming this past Saturday, and we were literally there for five hours. So that five hours on three different cameras, so three different angles, all crunched up to into a 10-minute video is literally no joke. 
Yeah, I know. I believe that. <laughs> it sounds so, stressful. Yeah, no, I know. Rock, I want to ask you, um, do you have like an updated list of like where we're getting a lot of these listens from? Yeah, yeah. so I actually looked at it last, last night because I knew it was going to, this question was going to be brought up, but... Of course, the main spot is New York, in particular Brooklyn. So we got a lot of Brooklynites, awesome. you know, repping, we're strong in Brooklyn. holding it down. Second spot is Long Island. All you Long Island people, I appreciate you looking out. Uh, and then third is Staten Island. So top three, all in New York. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's just a little funny how it goes. Then fourth, which I, I saw last last week, I noticed it. it was Canada. I was like, damn, all right. Mm. This Canadian's getting on. Oh, wow. Canada? It was uh, Toronto, Toronto. And yeah, oh, so, yeah, but and Australia is like number five. Australia right? creeping in, creeping in. Melbourne over there. There's a lot of Italians there. in both Toronto and Australia. It's crazy. Yeah, I, and, I mean English speaking. That's what it is too. You know. Yeah, and the one shocker that I found out. There's always that one that I have to mention. There was two listeners from Bangladesh. I was like, damn, that's y'all random. repping. Yo, we have a lot of like people in the Middle East that just they they always comment on our Instagram posts like, oh my god, you guys are just like us. And I'm like. I'm like, hey, we're well, family. You know, you know, we've been getting that a lot that where people are like, this is not just Italians that are like this. Oh, all the time. Like, you know, like, you all know, the time. shout out to my Greeks that follow us, <laughs> Albanians. Listen, you know, if you could, well, if you could just relate to the content, you don't have to be just Italian. You know, we, sometimes we post general things that could be related to everybody. Yeah, so exactly. it's cool. It doesn't have to, you don't have to get at us. Like, yo, you guys, this isn't just Italians. What are you talking about? Like, it's cool. Take a deep breath. At the end of the day, it's yeah, Instagram. People, people get it's too content. worked up over that. I feel like all of Europe, I mean, all the countries in Europe really do have a lot of similarities to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So today I was with big time Tommy for a little bit. <laughs> And uh, it's funny because we were talking and he goes to me, let me ask you something. He goes, do only Italians follow you? And I go, actually, no. I'm like, there's a bunch of other pages. I'm like, to be honest, like if it was only Italians that followed us, we wouldn't be successful. Right. That would be such a closed market. I'm like, I hope everybody follows us. You know, like if you just love Italian culture, I hope you like. Go to our page and find some comic relief and just enjoy what we post. Absolutely. I love that you said that because somebody could be growing up in an Italian neighborhood. Like yeah. imagine 30 years ago in Bensonhurst, mm-hmm. what that must have been like. Yeah. And you were an Italian. You felt Italian. Yeah, you, you go you to a Irish deli. Yeah, Italian. exactly. You were Italian by You hung out with the Italians. You're a paisan. You don't yeah. have to. Literally growing up Italian does not mean you have to be Italian. But I mean, if you are, I guess I that's, that's a plus. I that's what's so awesome about our name. Mm-hmm. Is that we really don't appeal to just one audience. We're very wide range. Another thing I want to add. Sorry, I'm cutting you off, but people always tell me, always, always, always tell me, you guys are called growing up a time, but you don't speak Italian. No, you parlam Italian. I'm like, I'm no, like, we speak. I speak Italian. No, I know, but when we post things, when we post stories, oh, when yeah. we post videos of us, oh, like yes. I can't. I, I would love to do that. You guys start being like soccer players, post captions. And <laughs> yeah, right. If we right? were to post videos of us only speaking Italian, then we limit ourselves. Right. We can't. We can't bring it all to one little circle. We have to spread it out as much as we can because it'll. We even post some really funny things in Italian that you kind of have to be Italian to understand that yeah, they're yeah. not as successful. And it's funny because we always say like before we post. The really Italian things, like wow, a lot of people aren't gonna understand this. Yeah. Right. Like there's some things we don't even post because we're like, oh man, not everybody's gonna understand it, you know? Yeah, and we try to make everybody feel included. You know, if you post something that's centered just to, towards speaking Italian, you, there's no way you're gonna make yourself marketable to a bunch of people. And that's why a lot of comedians, Italian American comedians especially, they don't do their acts in just Italian. Yeah, because if you go to if you're going to a show and the whole the guy the whole time is speaking Italian, then I don't understand how somebody who's not Italian would crack up, you know? Yeah, Rodia used to say that a lot. Shout-outs to him. He used to say that all the time. Yeah, and that's why he, he doesn't really yeah. do his whole show in Italian. says it in an accent. <laughs> you, want to, you want to hear something funny? I um, There's this comedian that I really do like. He's, like, one of my favorite comedians. His name is uh, Joe Coy. He's Filipino. Okay. Right? So I recently, a couple months back, I went to one of his shows in uh, New Jersey. And... The reason I like him so much, and a lot of people look at me crazy when I say this, but the Filipinos and the Italians have a lot in common. But Can you one, give me... of, okay, go one, of, one of his jokes that I literally think is hysterical is he says how 
every time he's sick, his mom covers him in Vicks rub. Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Vapor I remember, rub. yeah, I smell. remember, and I really found out about him on Netflix. I just stumbled upon like up across his his uh, segment, and I watched it, and I'm like. Oh my God, like that's my mom. And she's a Filipino woman. He's first generation. And he literally says how he talks about his mom. And I'm like, oh my God. So that right there. Now I went to his I went to his show and mind you, it was all Filipino. And I go inside, we're sitting there, and there was an Italian behind me. Oh really? So it really wasn't me who just felt that way. Like I mean, even Gabriel Iglesias, he's like my favorite. Yeah. So you can't say that. Oh, growing up Italian, you got to speak Italian, or you got to be Italian to understand this. When like, something's that's funny, not it's true. funny. Yeah. yeah that's you know, exactly. like you, you either get relatable. It or you don't. You gotta get you have be to relatable. Have the ability to connect with all different types of people, and I actually met him that night because we had like passes to meet him, and he was one of the coolest dudes that I've ever met. Filipino, and I was able to vibe with him as if he were Italian. So <laughs> that's awesome. That's crazy. Yo, it's funny you mention that though, because the whole time, like, damn, you make your moves in silent. Like, I honestly, one of the biggest things that bother me are people who make moves and they have to like announce it to the world, like, yo, this is what I'm doing. I'm pay, making moves. Pay attention to me. Hello, hello. Look, look, check I, me I out. I have a picture with him, and he's my favorite comedian, and I don't even think I posted it. I didn't even know that you went to go yeah. see him, like, but. If it was me, I'd have been posting it though. You know, I, I don't I'd be really, showing my moves. I don't post anything that I do, really. Honestly, but I don't know. That's just me too, though. I'm like that. I, I, like I my last Instagram post was probably three months ago. You know what I mean? Like, I it's, it's a whole different world. When we meanwhile, hit 100K. But meanwhile, in, in your defense, <laughs> and my I, personal I've noticed, Instagram, I've noticed about Rock is that, you know, I was actually looking at this the other day, and I don't want you to think I'm a creep or anything, but oh for some reason I'm like, I was looking through my likes on something and Rock's name wasn't there. And I'm like, this little effort. <laughs> so I looked at the picture before that and I don't think he liked that one either. Oh, but, you're one of those? But growing up Italian did. So, so the I'm there in spirit. I'm there in spirit. Was, Rock is never on his personal page. <laughs> that was you liking it from growing up Italian. Because <laughs> extra like. No, no. Why would I need to do that? The number does, isn't even visible anymore. It is for some people. Is it really? Yep. But listen, point, I like it in spirit. Listen, the point I was trying to make was Rock <laughs> literally eat, sleeps, breathes, and probably shits growing up Italian. I love it. I love he it. I can't. It. I, it's like it, you he inject me. Too. That I'm must not, be weird. I'm not trying to rip on him. It's just I'm really trying to express like this kid works harder than anybody I know. I appreciate it. You know what I love about it? Take a needle, pretend it's growing up Italian, just <laughs> inject, inject it. it right give me that shit. <laughs> give me that shit. I'm on what's that, that thing what's all that day. that shot you get when you eat peanut butter and you're allergic to it? The EpiPen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> give me all that. <laughs> give me that. Manja, manja. But, but yeah, yeah, like, what a ride, yo! Let's keep it up. We, yeah. We're doing a great episodes, job. Uh, an episode a week. That's a hundred weeks that we're just at the podcast. And I would say two. What was it? Two, three years before the podcast. So yeah, it's two years before. Someone asked me the other day, what, what, um, when was GUI established? And I literally you could look like, it up on it's page, February so. twenty sixteen. 2016. 2016 we so started. Four, four years, years. It's four years. Look at what we've accomplished in four years. Mm -hmm. So really, there's no telling what we could do in another four years. Sky's the limit. Let's, Sky's the let's limit. keep going. It yo. takes 10 years to be overnight success. 10 years. That's what my guy Pete says. Shout out to Pete. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Rock's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Love Pete. If you're listening to this, Pete, how you doing, all right? Yeah. Give yeah. a couple hey, smacks later. Go get your fucking Brazil. Yeah, you know what he told me? Right you know what he told me? He came in the other day. He goes, Rock, don't stand up. It won't make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. I didn't plan on it. Rock was like, F you. I'm not getting up for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, if you want to be uh, nice to somebody and be proper and respectful, you do stand up. If you're sitting down, you, you stand hello, up to yeah. say hello. You don't just sit down. Hey. Yo, I'm going to tell you the car. truth. You it depends who that. it is. You say that, but once I'm in this chair, I'm not getting up. <laughs> you sink into this. Unless thing. they like really come up to me and I'm like, oh shit. Like, like, every time somebody walks in, they kind of like walk up to me and like expect me to get up. And I just, I turn the kiss into a death. I'm like, yo, yeah. I'm getting up. Like, yo, what's up? How you doing? You know what I love that Italians do? Like, let's say somebody's behind me. I'm like, oh, excuse you, spot, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yo, watch this. Excuse yeah, my back. Excuse my, excuse my shoulders over here. Yeah, like, I don't feel like turning nah, around that's just, anyways. That's just that's an courtesy, Italian thing, yeah. you know? That's like Italian courtesy. Oh, well, yo, what these spots. Speaking of Italy, I wanted to mention this just because I'm kind of getting worried about it. There's a lot of, like, coronavirus outbreak 
I was Italy. thinking about that in too. In Northern Italy, in, spe- yeah, in particular. Bad. So uh, you know, our prayers are with you guys all in Northern Italy, all in Italy in general. My mom's freaking out about it every day. Yes. Not just I'm like, I don't believe this. Well, I'm honestly I gonna be in Italy when this episode drops, and I was not that I was planning on going to Inter versus Juventus, but it crossed my mind. And now you they're not even they're not opening the game to the public. How crazy is that? I'm happy I didn't buy my tickets because you're not getting you a refund. What? Oh, they don't refund I, you. They're not refunding them? it. Wow. You know Juventus what? needs all the money they could get. So yeah, here we go. Not, here we go. You know what though? What's crazy about that is the players playing in a stadium with no one around. Well, it's good for Inter because they don't have home field advantage anymore. <laughs> so I'll take that. But. I'm curious to see how but it plays out. It's crazy, that, like bro. crickets. A lot of, a lot of in northern they, Italy. Last last week they postponed four games. Yeah. And this week there's gonna be there's six There's like games. six or seven. That six are... games are gonna be empty. Like, what the fuck is I, going on? I actually read something today that they're like shutting down the airports. That they're not gonna be letting anyone else in. Yeah, it's bad. I, honestly, I hope... I hope I don't get stuck in Italy. Honestly, uh, bro, I, if I were you, I wouldn't even go. Shut. Up. Nice and easy. Do what you gotta do, but. Imagine you being stuck in Italy. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I'm I just being Kasia well, Who the, the hell's going to be doing the podcast, you, bro? It's, it's a bad you guys thing for me up. that I'm going to be stuck here working. <laughs> we got to hold it down. Know, it's, it, they're going to resolve what's going on. You know, I really hope they do. I really hope they do because it's scary. I mean, and brighter news, guys, as always, thank you for all your help. Always a Absolutely. pleasure. Uh, to all the followers, fans, listening, you know, Thank you for the constant support. Uh, and please click the link in our bio when you see this video drop. Uh, all the information we spoke about will be on there. All those links will be attached. Any other things you want to wrap Make up? Make sure if you like what we're doing, give it a little like, a yeah, little subscribe, like share it to a friend. Say these these stupid uh, Italians are funny, you know. Give them a little listen. Not you know? so bad. <laughs> Really do make sure to check out our merch because we do have a lot of dope. Yes, stuff extremely going. exclusive. Check it out. Should we? And, should we like at the end of this video show a little clip of the merch real quick? Yeah, maybe it depends on if, if I'm in the mood for it. We'll see. <laughs> All right, we might throw you a little bone. <laughs> oh, it's not the bone. Bon not. Bon not. Shout out to Amo P Swiss, my guy, blessing it with the Italian American Gaucho jersey. Check it out. We got the name on the back. Hit the link in the bio for Amo P Swiss's stuff. No!